So the mission of the community college system is to provide affordable, accessible education for New Hampshire residents. We do that in several ways. We provide education at the certificate and associate degree level that allow graduates to go on to the workforce and work for any number of companies throughout the, the state. But we also allow students to take associate degree programs and complete them and then move on to the university system. Um, I was involved in the liberal arts teacher preparation degree and I, I actually got my associates. It was challenging but it was a welcoming program. It wasn't overwhelming, it wasn't scary and it really focused on um, the things that you will definitely need and be using when you're going to actually be a teacher and I actually got to go out into schools and try my hand and it, it turned out to be that I was pretty good. So I'm in the right career I think. Um, I always tell everybody I have the best job at the college actually because I get to make teachers and for me I think that's a fabulous thing to do um, and I started off as an elementary teacher myself and then I got to come to work for Great Bay in the teacher education department. It is amazing to me because if you go anywhere whether it's in manufacturing getting your car fixed or to the hospital or to the dentist chances are you're going to run into somebody that went to the community colleges. Most of our students are first-generation college students. They would not have the opportunity to attend college if the community college system was not here. And um, so we are providing a, a service where we're filling in a gap in the educational landscape that nobody else does. Um, I'm a hospitality management major with a focus on event planning. Um, so I've taken a mix of business classes, liberal arts classes, and hospitality classes to kind of give me that well-rounded um, education that I need that I can apply in the real world. I guess one of the beautiful things about Great Bay Community College is that it, it really is orient, has oriented itself towards uh, providing the tools and bringing the knowledge to the student that's necessary for them to uh, to really be gainfully employed right here in the state of New Hampshire. Work Ready New Hampshire is a program for un unemployed and underemployed New Hampshire residents. Um, it's a two-part program. We, we address both the hard skills, which are reading, math, and problem solving, and soft skills, which are communication, teamwork, conflict resolution, what's your learning style, how to work with someone who has a different learning style, all those workplace behaviors. Um, Governor Lynch began the program because he went around the state and spoke to employers and they said that these basic skills are really lacking. So um, we created the program to address these exact concerns. Everybody has an opinion on what it's going to take um, to uh, rebuild manufacturing in this country. And uh, I, I think uh, if you're actually out there competing in global markets, the evidence is pretty clear. You need a technology edge. To get the technology edge, you need talent. And to get talent, you need a universe, college and university system. And uh, that doesn't happen overnight. That happens over time, over the long haul, and only if all of the elements in society are committed to establishing, building, and sustaining that kind of college and university system. So who's responsible for that? We're all responsible for that. Is government responsible for that? Yes. Is the taxpayer responsible for that? Yes. Are companies who are drawing from that talent base responsible for that? Absolutely. We all are. The community college system has a broad mission. One mission is a mission to train students to offer them um, opportunities to acquire associate's degrees so they can go directly into the workforce. But another mission is to offer opportunities for students to start their higher education with us and then transfer on to continue their education through a bachelor's or a master's degree or even a PhD. And in our department, the Department of Life Sciences and Chemistry, we try very hard to do both of those things. We really became aware of Great Bay Community College when they moved out to Pease, where we've been located for the last 12 years. And when we realized they were there, we really thought, how can we connect Pixel Media to the college? So in that time, since they've been out here, we've had folks from our team attend job fairs, We've mentored students. Um, we've had a lot more dialogue between faculty and Pixel Media staff. So we feel like this is actually creating a much more of a connection and just helping us to fill that pipeline that in the long term will really benefit Pixel Media and hopefully the community at large that's looking for the type of talent that we're looking for. 
Well, I think this is where the community college really does have an advantage. I mean, yes, we do have to work through curriculum approval processes and so forth, but I think because we are so accessible, you know, we are an open admission institution, so we can be open to um, adjusting our delivery mechanisms and our offerings, I think in a, in a, in a way that matches what industry might need. Um, and actually, I do get a lot of feedback from students about this um, once they transfer on or come to Great Bay from another college. Uh, one big thing is the smaller class size. Uh, another thing is the personal attention they get. Um, they get to know a lot of different people in the college um, very personally, so an advisor, other instructors. Uh, they do a lot of maybe hands-on things, so we do service learning projects and we go out into the community and we do different um, work with different organizations. When, when I have new partners to work with, um, either industry partners or more typically uh, partners from another academic institution, one of the things I try to do is bring them here for the meeting because most people, if they've thought about it at all, their vision of what a community college lab is going to look like or in fact what community college students are capable of doing in terms of their science is very different from what we actually do and what we actually have here. If we want to grow and we want to be a qual the quality state and maintain the quality that this state has, we have to have an educated workforce. And if, it, I said, community colleges change people's lives. We create opportunities. We, we create a, a pathway for people to be able to, to take that next step in, in their life. These are the people that come to our schools, they work here, they stay here, and they part, become part of the community. They coach your kids in Little League, they pl serve on planning boards, they do it all. And I, I will honestly say, I have never had the same reward as working with the community college system.